evening YouTube. Today Nick Clegg, uh, Deputy Prime Minister of Britain, is in a bonfire for the Senate of the names of laws which he's asking people to offer their judgment which laws we don't need, which laws are just in the way. I'm gonna suggest some absurd laws right now, if I may. First one isn't it absurd that you can have sex in this country at 16 but you can't watch it till you're 18? And where did that idea of uh, a fixed age of consent come from? Since when were, was everyone over 16 ready? Since when was everyone under 16 not ready? They go on and on about ages and more of it's directed at the young than the old. But I'm bound to say that. <laughs> Maybe when I'm old I'll think of it. I think there shouldn't be an age of consent, it should be based on whether you've had your first period or your first, I mean, that's how it was in the Middle Ages, for instance. You got females, they would have their hair down until they had the first period, they would be in a flat, and then when they got married it would all be tied up. They could get betrothed as babies, but they couldn't get married until they had their first period. That was the rule. Much more logical, I think. Another absurdity. You can buy cigarettes. Not allowed till you're 18. But you are allowed to join the army at 17. Isn't that absurd? Well, I don't know which one is more risky, but uh, I think the army can be pretty dangerous somehow. And finally, isn't it absurd that you're allowed to commit suicide and act? which will definitely kill you. That, that was quite rightfully legalised under Harold Wilson in the 1960s. But you're not allowed to take drugs. Except one or two, which have been used for thousands of years and you know, just, oh, well, they are all traditional ones, I think. So, okay to kill yourself, that's fine. But not alright, mate. Uh, should be a logical. Uh, I could go on, but we'd be here all night, and I don't want to talk about law too much. I much prefer doing vlogs about technology and disability than laws, because some people, they're bits of paper with ink on them. They're not important, they change constantly, they do not drive history machines do. Anyway, if any liar out there on YouTube, want to defend their profession, love to hear from them, because that's what I'm here for, debate. See you later YouTube, bye bye.